question is uh, for you, um, is to you, attendees. Uh, please uh, tell me, do you know anything about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo? Did you ever try it? Uh, or did you, uh, what is the level of your knowledge? Like basic, maybe advanced, medium, you heard something, nothing. Don't be shy, just write it on the chat. I'm here for you. Answer your questions. Uh, and for this question, I'm asking to you because I want to know it's we, we are starting from the basis of this indicator, this Japanese indicator, or we are talking about this, uh, mm, uh, or am, am I talking uh, to the advanced, advanced traders? Okay. Okay, so... Nobody's right. Nobody's writing it now. Okay, so I will start like uh, saying maybe uh, two words about uh, myself, Christopher Stone. I'm a trader and a stock market expert. I've been trading uh, since over ten years. Uh, as you can see, this photo is uh, from a couple of years ago. Uh, I've been I've been trading at uh, German indices, uh, United Kingdom FTSE, UK FTSE. Uh, I've been uh, trading uh, currencies, euro dollar, uh, sterling um, cable. Cable. I was also uh, trading in United States uh, in United States stocks. So I was trading in commodities, uh, currencies, uh, stocks, uh, etc. And of course, cryptocurrencies. Uh, who did not uh, trade on cryptocurrencies? And uh, especially 2017. Well, that was the year. That was the year that cryptocurrencies was so great. It was uh, really, really, uh, it had amazing, um, uh, amazing, uh, uh, it, it, it act amazing cryptocurrencies. Okay, but uh, it's not about this webinar. It's not about uh, cryptocurrencies. It's about uh, uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. But before we uh, will start saying about this Japanese indicator, I wanted to inform you about uh, disclaimer and also risk warning. Uh, the information con contained in this presentation is uh, general general information only and does not take into account your objectives, financial situation or needs. Uh, the content of this presentation must not be constructed as personal advice before deciding to invest in any products or services offered by Forex CV brokers. We recommend you seek independent advice and ensure you fully understand the risk involved before trading and carefully consider your objectives, financial situation needs and level of experience. We're not labeled for any loss or damage, including without limitation, any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from the use of, uh, of or reliance such information. informations. Forex CFD trading carries, uh, uh, carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Uh, so please remember uh, the high degree of leverage available can magnify profits and as well all losses. So just remember this, um, this is not uh, some kind of uh, uh, advi financial advice. Uh, I will not uh, say to you, you know what, buy here, sell here. This is not the idea. The idea is uh, that I will share my knowledge about this Japanese indicator, which I personally find as a very, very interesting and profitable. Okay, so the webinar partner today is CCI Traders. And as we speak about CCI Traders, uh, please remember to contact with CCI Traders and get your bonus. CCI Traders offers interesting solutions for you, such as $50 free educational bonus for beginners to start their first trade, 50% bonus for traders who make their first deposit or replenish an account, uh, also multi-account manager known as MAM services. Uh, beginner traders who want to $50 educational bonus, please apply by sender email to support um, at cci-traders.com. And of course, um, CCI Traders get you access to major instruments like commodities, currencies and indices, uh, direct market execution, fast execution platform, instant deposit, the same day withdrawal and MAM ACC available, leverage 1500 and local representative etc so please remember about this bonus and get your 50 percent bonus on your first deposit okay so this is about uh, it was uh, 
two or three words about me. Uh, of course, a couple of words about CCI traders, also disclaimer. And now let's go to the um, uh, to the cherry, uh, cherry on this pie. I'm talking about in today's webinar, we will focus on the following topics, such as the origin and use of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, description of components, uh, parameter settings and interval selections, position opening and closing signals, and of course, examples on the chart. So let's start by saying Ichimoku. Does anybody know what Ichimoku, uh, why they call it Ichimoku Kinko Hyo? Well, probably. Now you know. Ichimoku means one look. It's a Japanese word. Like Ichimoku uh, Kinko Hyo means uh, a chart on one uh, chart on one uh, look. So that is why uh, we are talking about Ichimoku. Uh, when we are talking about the Ichimoku, we are talking about uh, looking at the chart. And at the beginning, at first, we know the uh, who is in charge, what is the trend, and how how can it be? Well, let's um, let's start by saying that use uh, the the three main use of Ichimoku. First of all, signals to open a position. Well, it's the basic form. We look at the Ichimoku and say, okay, so I had to buy here or sell here, maybe close position. It looks like a, a quite nice opportunity. Uh, but the second is determination of the trend. We are look at the Ichimoku and we are saying, okay, now. It is an uptrend. So we are looking only for the long trade positions. Uh, and the, otherwise, we look at the chart and we say, okay, now it looks like an opportunity to sell, sell this asset. And of course, Ichimoku Kinko here also gave us a determination of support and resistance level. We, are, we can look at the Ichimoku and say, okay, so now here is the place when the there can be rebounds from this level. We can see strong support or strong resistance at the current level. And how is it uh, How is it happens? How is it possible? Of course, I am here to tell you why and how. Well, let's start by saying excess data in the chart. Well, did you ever start uh, trading? Then you decided to um, try to, for example, uh look at the ema uh, ema line uh for the exponential moving average and you say okay it looks good but one ema it's um, it's not uh, that good as twice sometimes you use the third uh, moving average you can uh, you can add to chart different kinds of moving average for example egg, um, um, uh, exponential moving average uh, simple uh, moving average weighted moving average etc etc of course you can add bollinger bands stochastic macd uh, you can adx you can uh, add more and more indicators and then you are wondering what I am still seeing on this chart. Uh, is Am I seeing the opportunity to go long trend or maybe it's an opportunity to um, for short trend? For this uh, example, we, um, uh, I'm showing you, uh, for example, using stochastic CCI, when stochastic says, uh, for example, short um, uh, the from, uh, the trend following strategy say, uh, says you have to buy. So CCI said sell, sell uh, tr tr um, uh, long uh, trend following strategy says um, uh, buy, and then you are looking, for example, at all of this um, all of this uh, plenty of indicators, and you are still wondering. Should I buy? Should I sell? What should I supposed to do? And this this is the um, this is the main thing which uh, access um, access data in chart uh, gave to us. Look, we are looking at this all of these indicators, uh, all of this different kind of moving average, and we are saying I am no longer sure, and I'm not that I'm not sure what to do. I had no clue, no idea at all what should I supposed to do. So this is it when you put a lot of indicators 
and you are getting you are not at all uh, sure what you're supposed to do so what can you do what can you do then when you can one look at the chart using ichimoku king of Hyo, you are looking at the chart and say okay so it's a long trend okay so it's a downtrend so and and that's all and i know that it sounds um, very simple it sounds that uh, ichimoku king of Hyo, uh really <laughs> it's it's like really simple and quite uh, a genius uh, but let's um, <laughs> let's hold your horses as they say uh, because um, ichimoku king of Hyo, it's um, it is quite genius uh, solution but uh, i'm not saying to you that it will give you 100 percent sure when to buy or when to sell well actually i think that ichimoku king of Hyo is the great um, solution because it's simple it is simple it is simple uh, and using it it's very very simple so that is the key because uh, when you fail like uh, for example you have uh, you know don't know what to do you don't know what to how to start your uh, you don't know how to start your trading you don't know should you uh, looking for long trades or short trades uh, ichimoku can give you this um, this feeling that okay i'm i know what to do uh, should i buy or should i sell and i know where uh, when should, should i uh, don't do anything anything at all so because let's remember the good strategy not uh, it is not the strategy that say okay you have to in this position uh, now you have to be long then you have to be short and you know like all the time all the time in a position no no it's it's not a good uh, strategy it's not a good idea actually it's quite a bad idea uh, the the good uh, the good idea the good strategy is it's when to buy when to sell when to close your uh, position and also you have to remember to uh, you have to remember that you um, uh, had to also sh sh uh, there is a time when you shouldn't supposed to be at uh, at the markets you know at at the markets uh, in a position so that is why that is why you're supposed to uh you're supposed to try you're supposed to try ichimoku and send how i said to you to yourself especially how uh, how do you see it and do you think it's a quite good um good, uh, quite good solution quite good strategy or whole system just like i seeing it okay so ichimoku kinko hyo a little a little bit about history of uh, of an indicator well let's start by uh, goichi hosoda goichi hosoda uh, the creator of ichimoku kinko hyo indicator uh, he was an economic journalist. Um, he assumed the creation of an indicator that would contain all the necessary elements. Uh, for like you, we can say by saying the sentence all in one. He he assumed this uh, this uh, ichimoku that has will be have all um, that uh, will have all in one. So for example, this uh, trend determination. Uh, signal positions, uh, strong signal, weak signals, neutral uh, signals, etc., etc., etc. And uh, for me, very interesting is the thing that uh, Igoichi Hosoda tested uh, this uh, system, this strategy for over 20 years. Uh, in 21st century, testing something uh, over 20 years, well, it's quite an abstraction. It's quite uh, maybe an absurd in the today, really, really fast world. Uh, world. Mm, uh, we are looking because we want to have everything right now at the moment. So uh, by saying that someone was testing a system over 20 years, it's a very very long time well especially let's uh, face the fact that he started uh, uh, he started during uh, the second world war uh, world uh, war uh, it was uh, the 30s of 20 uh, 20 century uh, so well there were uh, in this in in that time we didn't have any any kind of uh, computers, uh, smartphones, etc. Uh, we had only he can only manually test it. That is why um, uh, he, he and his bunch of students were just looking at the Sichimoku Kinko Hyo, and then they were checking: is it working or is this not working at all? And after this twenty years of back testing uh, of these testings. 
uh, he decided, okay, Ichimoku, the best results in Ichimoku Ginko Hyo are this kind of uh, parameters uh, and walking at this and this intervals. Okay, so when we say Ichimoku uh, Kinko Hyo, Ichimoku indicator, we can say, for example, like, okay, so we are looking, we are, uh, we are seeing some kind of lines, some kind of clouds. Uh, sometimes you can say like, like mountains, right? Like uh, this indicator look like some kind of mountains, and we are, if we have, uh, we are, had no clue. What is this? We can say like, oh, I don't know what is this, so let's just forget about it. But when we are uh, looking at this components of Ichimoku, we are seeing that it's been only a five averages that is um, that is the components of Ichimoku indicator. Well, first is Tenkan Sen, then is a Kinjun Sen, Senku Span A, Senku Span B, and of course a Chiku Span. And when we are saying, for example, uh, for example, Tenkan Sen, what do I mean? Well, Tenkan Sen is the, um, it's the first line, also called conversion line, is the average of the highest and the lowest level of the last nine periods. Well, for example, if we are looking at the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo chart at daily, uh, at daily charts, by saying, uh, highest and lowest level, I mean, uh, on the last nine periods, we are talking about the last nine days. If we are looking at the Ichimoku uh, on um, one hour chart, we are saying about the last nine hours. It's a very, it's a basic, uh, uh, it's a basic thing. I think that uh, you all understand that. So it is the first, it is the first line. The first line, it is, um, during the fact that um, it, this is the average of the highest and the lowest level of the last nine periods, most of the time the Tenkan Sen is the line that is the the closest the closest one line to the price. So this is Tenkan Sen. What about the second line, Kiju Sen, Kinjun Sen, the, also known as the baseline? Uh, it is the same formula. For, um, for creating Kijun Sen, it's the average of the highest and the lowest level. You will get for, of the last, well, the difference is that is the last of the 20, uh, 26 periods. Uh, for example, we are, um, uh, we are finding, if we're looking at the 26 periods, we are finding the highest, we are finding the highest uh, level, we are, high, we are finding the lowest level, and then we got the average, and then you have the baseline, Kim Jun Sen. It's the basic, uh, it's the simple, just like uh, like it sounds. Okay, uh, the third one, Chiku Span, lagging span. Uh, well, you can you can remember this line because of that. Uh, this line is always behind the chart. Uh, we are now maybe I think that we are. All of our traders know that, but if there are some people that do not know, I will explain. The chart always go at the right side, from the left to the right side. And uh, in this, in this, for example, uh, case, we are seeing that there are new uh, new candles. Uh, some of the some of them go up, some of them go down, and uh, they are moving uh, forward uh, on the right uh, to the right side. And the lagging span, Chiku span, is this line that is uh, uh, back, um, that is like uh, going uh, backward, right? Right. It's going at uh, uh, back to the to the chart. So this is so this is the basic thing. And when we are saying the lagging span, we are mean uh, we are talking about the candle. That uh, closing price, uh, the uh, the Chiku span is the candle closing price shifted twenty six periods back. So, so uh, when I say candle closing price, I mean the exactly right now price because let's uh, remember if we are talking about the candle chart, uh, we know that uh, the close uh, the close one uh, on uh, uh, right now uh, on. Uh, on the on the candle right now is this uh, uh, is the present price this is this is the closing when will it, uh, of course at uh, 
uh, 23.59, uh, I mean, uh, 12, uh, 12 a.m., we will get uh, at dusk, we will, of course, uh, have this candle closed. But uh, in this time, when we are looking at the Chico span, we know that this now, the candle, uh, this uh, uh, candle closing price, it is the Chico span. Uh, it is the Chico span price. So this is the candle closing price shifted 26 periods back. If you will have any, any questions, if you don't understand anything I'm saying, please write it on the chat. Of course, I will be explaining. And of course, there will be some uh, examples that all of you may know what is uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, how to use it, etc., etc. Okay, so uh, let's go, let's go forward. Uh, Senku Span A, also known as Leading Span A. It's the Tenkan Sen and the Kinjun Sen um, is, the, is the average, right, from the Tenkan Sen and Kinjun Sen moved forward 26 periods. So, for example, uh, in the Chiku Span, we had the line that was 26 periods back. And now we are getting a line that it is 26 periods forward. Okay, and this leading span A, it's the average of Tenkan Sen and Kinjun Sen. So we are taking Tenkan Sen uh, plus Kinjun Sen. We go uh, divided by two, and then we move it 26 periods. It is simple as it sounds. Okay, Senku span B, leading span B. It's uh, the maximum and the minimum, uh, maximum and the minimum from last 52 periods. Uh, of this is this is the average of the maximum and minimum from last 52 periods that is moved forward 26 periods. Uh, okay, and I know that there have been many of these periods. I, I will of course explain to you in a moment. But now I want you to know how uh, the how this components. What is this component? Uh, what is this Ichimoku based on? How we, how we just, you know, uh, how we use this uh, indicator, how it is built. So that is why I'm uh, talking right now about it. Okay. Kumo, also known as the cloud, the Ichimoku cloud. The Kumo is the area, uh, this is area between Senku span A and Senku span B. So we got like two lines, right? Senku span A, Senku span B, and then we had an area between these uh, two lines, and this is the cloud. Uh, of course, there are two types of clouds. Uh, one uh, cloud is uh, the bullish cloud. When Senku span A, is over Senku Span B. Then you can see we have a bullish cloud, and we just um, this bullish cloud. Cloud. So um, uh, this bullish cloud uh, is uh, prediction. It's a prediction that the price may go more and up because it uh, show us the trend. Uh, we looking at the bullish cloud. We are saying okay. So this is uh, a up, this is an uptrend. Okay, so this is one thing. The second thing is the bearish cloud when Senku span A is under Senku span B. So then we are seeing this uh, downtrend. So we are looking at the cloud and say, okay, so this is definitely a, a downtrend. So this is uh, one of the reasons we are saying that Ichimoku, it's not only the system which will say to you, okay, Um, so this is not uh, this is not the um, uh, this is not the system that is saying only that we are uh, buy here sell here we only are uh, we are only uh, not not only of course and uh, also we are determ determinate uh, the trend is it uptrend or downtrend okay. Ichimoku Kinko Hyo parameters. Uh, if, when we are speaking about the parameters of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, we are saying about um, Ichimoku, Ichimoku parameters, we are seeing that 9, 26, and 52. These are the parameters that uh, we saw just um, a few minutes ago when I was saying about the Tenkan Sen, uh, about uh, Kinjun Sen, 
Also, when uh, I told you about Senku uh, Chiku Span, Senku Span A or Senku Span B, there was like 9, 26, 52. And you, are, you may be wondering, okay, why? Why these uh, numbers uh, came up? Well, first of all, 9 uh, was at this time when Goichi Hosoda created this indicator. Uh, it meant a week and a half at the time if we are talking about the working um, uh, the working week, right? For example, like today, we are saying that people are working from Monday to Friday. Uh, then, then we can, uh, then there is a weekend like Saturday, Sunday. And uh, then at the time, people was, uh, were working from Monday till Saturday. And so was the, uh, so was the stocks open, so was the capital markets moving, right, from uh, mo uh, Monday to Saturday. So nine means a week and a half, uh, 26 uh, meant working month, 26 days, it was more working uh, days in the month, and the 52 means two working months. Okay, so now some of us may say, okay, so at this, at the time, nine was a week and a half of working week so maybe now uh, looking at the capital markets looking at how stocks exchange are working maybe we should suppose to change a little bit ichimoku kinko hyo well of course everybody can say about it and, and now we have to change a little bit parameters and of course, and also I, uh, I have been changing these parameters and the many traders that I had uh, uh, pleasure to, to met, uh, the pleasure to speak with, and also uh, that we have, we have this uh, pleasure to conversate, uh, to, to make a conversation. Many of us tried it. And what did, uh, what did happen? When we saw that uh, using this Ichimoku parameters, this uh, basic, the first parameters that were set to uh, stock exchange walking in the 30s of the 20th century, we saw that now it's also giving a very, a very good result. So the question my for you is, is it a reason to change something good into something better? Well, of course, so you can do always. Nevertheless, there is a quite uh, there is a quite problem with it because when we are talking about the five days week, and then we have the, a week and a half, we get like seven and a half day. So now is the problem: should it be seven or should it be more like eight? So now there is a problem, and we can wondering how to how to do it, how to make it. And of course, I also I also try one like like when one seven or one eight, and of course with working month or with the two working months, it's a very it's a very very simple, uh, very simple to do it. But nevertheless, uh, there is a basic problem with uh, setting this parameter uh, using uh, nowadays nowadays tr uh, trader uh, tr trading week um, uh, trading week uh, this parameter but nevertheless uh, i was trying mm, sorry uh, i have some info about no voice uh, if, is everything okay 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 there is a Okay, so voice, there is a voice. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, so, so the, face, the first thing, the main thing is uh, using the basic Ichimoku parameters, you can also have a very, very good, uh, very good result. Of course, you always can, um, you can always change it. You can try something, something different, something more. Well, I did it. Uh, I didn't saw any um, any quite a difference. Maybe not, not the difference that made me uh, more happier or made me more uh, maybe more um, more money. Maybe more money. So I just like you know. I said okay, the basic parameters are really really good, and I supposed to use them. Okay, so the next thing, the Ichimoku interval. Many people are uh, asking questions, like, or maybe, maybe did you, um, maybe someone used Ichimoku and then told you, you know what, Ichimoku don't work because I tried it on, for example, one minute chart, 
or five minute chart, it didn't work. Well, uh, let's face the fact, it isn't this strategy. It isn't the scalping strategy. Uh, Ichimoku is more like a trend following system. That is why uh, Ichimoku, inter, uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is created for daily and weekly charts. Well, it's the, of course, we can, it, uh, we can uh, use it for lower intervals. Nevertheless, we have to, had to always confirm the trend on four hours, uh, on four hours chart. So, for example, we are looking at the four hour chart and then we say, OK, I'm seeing here a long trend. And then we can go, of course, like, for example, on the M30 chart. But now uh, we know that we are looking only for the long trade um, for the long trade signals. Uh, of course, if you don't understand what I what I mean, uh, I remind you that uh, I will show you uh, also on um, on the chart on the cci traders platform so uh i'm, I'm not only be speaking by this because uh, for me it doesn't make any sense for me as a trader i'm looking at the chart and now and then when i'm seeing the chart i'm seeing the opportunity i can say what uh, what can i do with it okay so that is the main thing Next, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So now the thing that uh, I think uh, most of you came, came for, signals to open a position. The first, the main signal is when Tenkan Sen breaks Kijun Sen from bottom to top, it is uh, a long trade uh, setup. It is a long trade setup, it is a long trade signal. So for example, we are seeing here that when the... Um, We are seeing here the long uh, uh, when the Tenkan Sen breaks Kiju Sen from but uh, from bottom to top, then it's a long trade. There is a signal to long um, to open a long trade. So that uh, this is a basic uh, thing uh, we use uh, in the strategy based on two moving average. For example, we have a short term average, mid term average. And then uh, when they are crossing each other, we know when to sell, we know when to buy. It is simple as this. And uh, so as uh, simple is the next setup, short trade, uh, when Tenkan Sen breaks Kijun Sen from top to bottom. Then we are just looking, then we also looking at the, uh, at the short position and there is a signal, go, uh, go uh, short. Okay, uh, the next uh, uh, the next uh, long trade setup is when the candle is closed above cloud. There is a very important because some of the traders are saying, okay, so when the uh, when the candle go uh, up, um, when the price go uh, beyond uh, the cloud, I'm making a trade. Uh, beyond uh, uh, above or or, um, or below but the first thing is that you uh, have to remember that it had to close above cloud when we are looking at the, um, we are looking at the, for example daily chart well after after the dusk we can say okay um, after uh, after the uh, 12, um, uh, 12 p.m., we can say, okay, it, it is close, it is above or not. Is it, it is above, then, okay, it's a long trade signal. Uh, never first. Of course, if we are trading, trading for example, on uh, H1, uh, H1 chart, so like one hourly chart, uh, of course, I said it before that uh, we always we have to look at this. Uh, what is the trend on the minimum for uh, for our chart? But uh, nevertheless, we can use uh, one hour chart in our strategy. For example, if we had some swing tr uh, swing trading strategy using this kind of uh, this kind of interval, and then we are uh, when uh, hour is. Uh, is complete where after the full hour we can decide okay so now the close was uh, above the cloud so that is a setup for long trade and the exactly same thing is in the um, uh, when we are 
is the, the, the exactly the same thing uh, is when we are saying about the short trade uh, the closed candle below cloud so below cloud uh, the candle is closed we get that now they're starting to um, uh, the next candle came in so and we are seeing this candle is below cloud okay it's this very um, it's a very direct uh, information for us now it is a time to short okay uh long next long trade close candle above kijun sen kijun sen also known as the also known as the base uh baseline as i've been told to you a couple a couple of minutes ago uh so in this case we can see that the chart uh the candle is closed above the kijun sen and then we have the long trade setup so uh, and the same thing in the short trade when close candle below kinjun sen then we are going uh, this is a signal for us okay we are going we are going down there is a, a signal for us like everything is, uh, everything is looking for this uh, downtrend to continue okay so uh, if you didn't remember please uh, don't uh, don't bother uh, i will show you to you also on the charts and of course i remind you that this webinar is being is being recording so you can also uh, you can also watch it once uh, once again after this webinar will came uh, came to, to an end of course if you have some any kind of questions uh, about Ichimoku Kinko Kyo, please don't be shy, just write at, uh, at this chat. Okay, so I told you about the basic, uh, I told you about the basic uh, signals, uh, the main signals, but also we can say the strong signals and uh, about the strong signals and the weak signals. Of course, there are also neutral signals. Uh, and of course, of course i will talk about uh, about it okay so dan is asking does it have any relation with moving average when well yes it had some uh, uh, relation as i've been told at the beginning of this uh, of this webinar when i told you about the ichimoku components i told you that for example tenkan sen uh, is the average price uh, of the minimum and the maximum price uh, of last nine periods like for example if you're looking at the daily one uh, daily chart we are talking about uh, nine last periods nine last days and then we are looking at the maximum and minimum uh, maximum and the minimum price then uh, the average is the tenkan sen the kinjin sen is the same is the same thing but uh, the, from the maximum and minimum of the 20 of the last 26 periods uh so yes it has some relation it is not moving average because when we are talking uh, when we are talking about the tenkan sen or the kijun sen uh, if um, for example the moving um, uh, the maximum or, or the minimum didn't change for the last i don't know for example nine uh for example uh, nine uh, periods then we will have um then we will have a flat line we have a flat line uh and it's a different kind of moving average because the moving average just always uh it could be slower it could be faster but it's always changing but in the uh, in the tenkan sen and kinju sen we look at this this um this maximum and the minimum of price during this 9 or 26 periods if you of course saying about this basic lines like uh, like a conversion line and the baseline so i mean tenkan sen and kim jong sen okay so uh, this is quite a digression uh, strong uh, signals ichimoku kinko hyo so uh, as you may uh, as you may start to wondering the long trade this strong long trade is when the tenkan sen breaks kijun sen from the bottom to top and the signal appears above the cloud so we are looking at the cloud we are seeing the tenkan sen and kijun sen is above the cloud and there the tenkan sen is break breaking kijun sen there is a really strong signal strong signal the trend the uptrend 
that uh, an uptrend is going really really well so the same thing the same thing as we look at the short trade the tenkan sen breaks kinjun sen from the top to bottom and the signal appears below the cloud it's the same thing uh, we had the short uh, uh, short signal uh, below below clouds uh, below this uh, in this uh, example uh, below the bearish cloud so now we can see that we supposed to uh now that we that we get a really strong sell trade uh, signal okay so next one long trade uh close candle uh, i told you before that uh, the long trade setup is when the candle is close above the cloud but the really strong signal is when the candle is close above the bull the uh, bullish cloud the bullish cloud is, of course, when Tenkan Sen A, uh, sorry, when the Senku Sen uh, A, uh, Senku Span A uh, is above the Senku Span B. So there is when uh, we get a bull, uh, bullish cloud. And when we also see that uh, uh, candle is closing above uh, this, uh, is closing above uh, this cloud then we are now then we are quite sure about uh, that this is uh, uh, that we are sure that uh, this uh, trend uptrend is still really really strong and this is also a strong signal uh, for entering the uh, position uh, okay so so the same thing in the short trade right so as you can see the same thing is with the long and short trades only in the other only in the other direction uh, we can see that close uh, candle below bearish cloud is a signal for this trade mm, it is a signal uh, to entering uh, the short uh, transaction okay so long trade chiku span chiku span breaks cloud from uh, from bottom to top so uh, an example of this uh, chiku span this lagging span that i was talking uh, talking about it's going up uh, is going up uh, from the cloud it's a very very uh, strong signal and also when we had a situation situation where chiku span breaks cloud from top to bottom so also it's a strong uh, signal uh, to entering uh, to entering a short uh, trade okay so this is the this basic strong uh, signals but there are also the other signals i told you about the neutral i also told you about this uh, weak signals so for example the neutral signals is when signal is inside the cloud uh, well inside the cloud signal we can have when uh, for example tenkan sen is uh, breaking kijun sen inside this cloud inside kumo and also when chiku span also known as lagging span is inside the cloud and we are for example getting a signal buy or signal sell so then we are quite sure that this is a neutral signal it means that it isn't strong it isn't weak it's just neutral so we are not quite sure because uh, most of the time when the price is inside the chiku span is inside uh, of the cloud or the price is inside the cloud or the uh, signal from Tenkan San Kinju Sen is inside the cloud most of the time uh, there is a um, uh, consolidation in this in this asset we are looking at so we are not quite sure it's going up or it's going down we need some of the strong signal just like as I as showed to you for example Tenkan Sen is crossing each other above uh, above the cloud and we are seeing really a bullish cloud uh, which for example uh, the candle as uh, is uh, the candle is closing above so there is a couple of really strong signals and information for us that uptrend it's quite good it's uh, it's really quite good and we can do something about it for example open long trade okay so uh about this uh, weak uh, buy signals well buy signal below cloud so for example if you are seeing this uh, tenkan sen uh, is breaking uh, from bottom to top uh, kijun sen 
it's not always means okay so it's a buy no when we are seeing this below cloud now we are uh, we are quite sure that uh, it's a weak uh, weak signal also uh, when um, we are buying uh, when we saw a buy signal with uh, chiku span below cloud so also also it is a weak uh, signal and the same in the cell a weak cell signal so cell signal above cloud when uh, trend is strong and then we get a signal a mm, cell uh, signal it's not a good uh, it's not a good info that's not quite uh, good information for us and also when cell signal uh with chiku span above above the cloud so there is the neutral a weak uh, and weak buy and sell signals uh, when we are wondering when when sh supposed to we uh close the trade so we can use for example weak or uh, weak signals uh, to closing this uh, transaction for example we are uh, we are at the long trade and then we are seeing the weak sell signal for example tenkan sen is crossing crossing the kijun sen above cloud so then for us is information maybe we should close uh, maybe not all of the uh, all of our position but for example some part of it like uh, we have for example one lot uh, so maybe a half a lot maybe 0 0.25 a lot uh, and also when chiku span is uh, going we have a long trade and uh, chiku span uh, is going um, so chiku, uh, when we have a long trade and this chiku span is going uh, inside the cloud is also for us an information that maybe we supposed to um uh, we're supposed to close uh, part of the maybe not all but part of our uh position so we can take this couple of dollars uh, that we earned on this uh, transaction okay so the next thing is about support and resistance we are when we are talking about the support and resistance in ichimoku kinko kyo uh, well we can look at the chart we can look how the ichimoku kinko kyo react and then we can say uh, we can say the where is this support and resistance well first of all support and resistance mainly came when the we when we can um, there where we can see the flat line uh, most of the time support and resistance is uh, for example kijun sen the flat uh, kijun sen also the flat uh, senku span uh, senku span b uh, most of the time it uh, showing us this remember senku span b is above uh, above senku span e, uh, a when we are talking about the bearish cloud so there is why we can see really some kind of uh, supports and resistance uh, in this e area and in this uh, and uh, then we can show the where where the um, uh, where this uh, candle where this price can go looking for example how did it act in uh, uh, how did act in uh, past looking at the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So it's a, it's a very important to remember about it because uh, the flat line means that the, if the maximum and the minimum, uh, if the flat Ikiju uh, Sen means that the maximum and minimum uh, from the last 26 periods didn't change at all, didn't change one bit. It's the same think at uh, uh, the same uh, average uh, uh, making uh, making uh, tenkan uh, making tenkan sen and that is why we can see that uh, most of the time there is um, most of the time it is uh, the place when we can saw some kind of um, reaction from this chart reaction from this uh, from the price so it is a very it's a very interesting and that is why i want to show you on the charts so let's look how the situation look uh, inside uh looking at the ichimoku uh, kinko hyo chart so let's look one look at the chart okay okay so now you can see okay so you can say 
okay you won't see me for 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 a while because i want you to focus exactly what are you seeing right now at the chart okay so look at the euro euro dollar what can we say about it euro dollar is under mm, under this bearish cloud because this is the senku span uh, this is the senku span b uh the senku uh span uh this this is uh the the bearish cloud senku span b is below uh, below senku span senku span b is uh, yes uh, above uh, senku span a and also when we are saying about the spanku uh, senku span b we saw we can uh, show this uh, this line senku span b is quite uh, is quite flat showing us the nearest uh, the nearest resistance so it is very important for us and this is also yeah how i brought the indicator yeah yeah sure no no problem at all so let's start about the basics so i will okay so delayed okay so this is the euro dollar uh so now indicators i mean fx or you know something like okay i will minimize it so you can see it indicators add indicator ichimoku and then you can say tenkan sen 9 kijusen 26 52 interval default and then we are clicking apply okay so now we, we are playing at this and what we saw so the first of all okay so i will go back to my uh, maximize and the uh, first of all 11069 uh, this is the strong um, uh, strong resistance for euro dollar and we can uh, we can solve this very prob it's a probability that when we break up from this the uh, the price will go up but it's first of all uh, let's focus about the kijun sen kijun sen we can see also there's a flat there's a flat line there is a tenkan sen break tenkan sen breaks above um, kijun sen but it was uh, below the cloud chiku span is also below the cloud also it is below the you know, below the chart and we can say that for example chiku span down uh ten can send can you send up but it's a weak signal uh, it is a weak signal because it is uh, below uh, below uh, our uh because it's below uh, the cloud and then and then we are looking now for example uh we are looking for the short position short position the good short position will be for example if the, it will go up below let's say uh, it will go up uh, uh, somewhere in the cloud and then we'll go down so the first uh, strong signal will be uh, will be when the candle will close below uh, this cloud and the second well it will close below uh, kijun sen right now at the moment we can see more like a strong uh, strong downtrend and also we can say when we are saying about the strong sell signal when tenkan sen will break through uh, will uh, break uh, break through kijun sen from top to bottom so looking at the euro dollar we are now seeing that it is uh, the downtrend so that is what i've been saying said uh, this is what i've said to you from uh from the beginning so one look at the chart of course it's only euro dollar i will show you at different different assets for example uh another uh currency path uh, another um, main currency pair uh, major us dollar jpy okay so we see now okay us dollar jpy oh sorry 
Ah, yeah, we can also uh, <laughs> we can also click here and just wait. USD JPY. Okay, so it's a very interesting thing right now. So because uh, looking at this, we seeing that Chiku span is going above is going above the cloud. The mm, uh, the cloud is bullish, and where when the uh, when the candle will closed below uh, above mm, this uh, cloud we will get and we will get a strong signal to open long trade well first of all when uh, we have to remember that also uh, tenkan sen is below kijun sen and when we it will um, it will break uh, tenkan sen will break above uh, above Kinjun Sen, it will be a sig uh, buy signal. Nevertheless, it is inside the cloud, and inside the cloud is the neutral neutral signal. So uh, we are waiting for the mm, we are waiting for the uh, X. Uh, we are waiting for the, for the candle that breaks through uh, breaks through at close beyond uh, beyond this uh, candle. So there is the thing about the US dollar uh, JPY. Well, if you have some uh, proposition, I will look at the, uh, for example, gold. Oh, okay. Gold, if you have some uh, proposition, suggestions, what can we look about? Just don't be shy, just write in the chat and we will, uh, in a moment, we will look at this asset. Gold, well, gold is now uh, looking, of course, I will remember to you that we are looking at the daily chart. This is a daily chart. Uh, gold is going really, really well it's a it's a quite it is a quite long uh, long uh, we can see some long uh, opportunities for long trades we can see an uptrend uh, bu uh, a bullish market and we are seeing that tenkan sen is above uh, kijun sen we are seeing that chiku span is not only above uh, the cloud is also above the chart so why am why am i saying about the chart because i i mentioned about the strong signal when chiku span is above only uh, which is above only mm, uh, above cloud i didn't say anything about this uh, chart uh, uh, this chart that it's supposed to be up or down well let's remember that also uh, chiku span uh, above or be, uh, below uh, chart is also a quite uh, good uh, mm, and interesting uh, interesting view because when we look at this uh, at this uh, chart, we look at today's price, and we can see that today's uh, closing, today's uh, not now present price, is the Chiku Span price, which is uh, back 26 periods back. Then now we are looking at this. Uh, then we can um, look at Chiku Span and say, okay, how Chiku Span works, uh, how it is act. Uh, looking at the past, uh, look at the past chart. If it is going up and up, we can see that uh, now price is being above the last price. So it looks looks like we have an uptrend. So that is the main uh, that is the main uh, thing. And looking at the gold, when uh, Tenkan Sen will breaks uh, Kijun Sen above, then we will get a weak sell signal. And also uh, the strong signal will be when the price, uh, uh, the char the candle go below uh, this, uh, below this cloud. It will be, for example, this cloud, 1,599. Uh, so 100, uh, uh, 1, 1, uh, so, so so we will see that th this is the really important, uh, important support level. As I told to you that we can see, uh, looking at the horizontal line, you can see that this uh, flat line also the 
saying to us that uh, it is uh, strong uh, it is a strong support or so strong resistance and uh, we can show that how did the um, uh, react price in this level uh, in the past so we can see this was resistance when we go up from here we go up we go down support level we go up we break this go down and then we had some consolidation then we still go up so this is a very important level and this is what i'm talking about you when uh, we talk about the flat lines flat lines on the sankus pen b flat lines on the uh kijun sense so it is important uh, you to look at this and you can say uh okay so this is the very very interesting level we can see some uh, interesting prediction looking uh, over here okay so one of my really favorites uh one of my uh, uh one of my favorite uh, indices us uh, 5 us 500 well it is a very interesting thing we are looking uh very interesting um, situation well what we can see right here well first of uh, all of us know that uh, during the pandemic of uh, for example coronavirus etc we saw really really uh, like going uh, going down going below this uh, this cloud really bullish a bullish cloud we go like down chikuspan also went down tenkan sen crossed with uh, kijun sen and we got it was like for example in about um, two, three, uh, three thousand points, and then we go to two hundred, uh, two thousand two hundred. Then we go up. So this uh, Tenkan Sen uh, above Kijun Sen, it's a very weak, uh, not, a, not a very, but just weak signal. And then we went above this uh, bearish cloud, which isn't a quite uh, strong signal, but nevertheless. Uh, going above this um, this uh, resistance lines that uh, came from Senku uh, Senku Span um, Senku Span B, it's showing us that it's a very interesting situation. Also, we can see that the bullish cloud is uh, is creating it's creating bullish cloud. So when Senku Span A will go, uh, when uh, when Chiku Span will go be, uh, above the cloud and also we go on uh, we can see this uh, this chart is going is going up we can see some interesting movements going going up so uh, so this is this is this view and also i told you about uh, using this uh, using this indicator on four hourly charts right uh, for example uh, using this chart uh on uh, on like 15 15 minutes chart is it is it possible to, to use this indicator well let's check this out what i've been uh, talking about so us 500 look at the four hour for example what we can see at four hours uh chart what is this trend maybe you can say do, do you see some trends or do you see do you see non-trends can you say something about it is it the long uh, uptrend downtrend long uptrend okay so you are seeing this this is an uptrend so on four hour chart we are seeing this uptrend and then for example we go like uh, 30 minutes uh, chart and what are we seeing right here? uptrend yes exactly 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 then exactly joseph you are 100 uh, percent uh, you are 100 percent right so we are going at the 30 minutes chart and we are looking for example that uh, we are going below we are going below uh, we're going uh, below cloud and maybe we also when we will go below this kijun sen so what is the main thing if we are want to use this indicator on the lower indicators when we saw 
that up is that there is an uptrend on four hour chart. Looking at the, for example, 30 minutes chart, we are only looking at the long trend uh, setups. So for example, we ignore, we ignore any of the mm, signals, uh, any setups that said to us, that is saying to us, go short. We're saying, no, no, we are not going short. We are only going long, but we're not going long because of this, uh, uh, because uh, for our chart said it's an, uh, it's an uptrend. No, we only go uh, long trend when there will be a setup buy setup so this for example if we go back beyond we go uh, beyond uh, this uh, cloud cloud to this uh, bullish cloud for example on the um, on uh, two uh, two nine uh, three three for example uh, so then we can go by uh, we can go take uh, a long trend so that is my point of view that is what i'm what i was saying about when we start to uh, saying about what uh, parameters, what indicators should we use, it was the basic thing, right? We are looking at the four hour chart and we're saying, okay, so this is this is the trend and this is what we're looking for. And okay, so let's look at the different, uh, let's look at the different, um, different asset. For example, we can use, um, it's something okay so that'll be uh, australian dollar to canadian dollar so let's look at, let's check this out okay so also an uptrend also an uptrend and is below uh, above uh, kijun sen uh, there is a bullish cloud we are seeing uptrend so what we are doing now for example going like i don't know m30 and we are seeing okay so we are looking for an uptrend uh, for for long trade signal only if we are looking for this uh, if we saw for example going down like on uh, setup uh, chart uh, looking at the setup um, that's saying okay go short we ignore this because we are the four hour uh, chart is uh, our basis for for the termination of the trend and remember trend is your friend you are always this is a trend following strategy you are saying what is the trend uh when should we go long when should we go um, when should we go uh short and and that is all of it so so remember this is not something that uh, you want to buy or something really really low because you are looking for the value of the assets no it is a uh, trend following strategy and you have to uh, determine the trend and then looking for some looking for some opportunities okay so but, but looking at uh, the daily chart for example what we can what we can do about it well if we go uh, in this uh, simple situation uh, if we are going, uh, for example, let's uh, check this out. We are going, uh, this candle is closing below, uh, below Kijun Sen. So this is a sell signal. And also Chiku Span was also below, uh, below cloud. So we are going down. So we're going down and for example if we are going a bit above kijun sen then we are starting uh, we are closing this uh, we are closing uh, this uh, position also we can uh, close the partial of this position so this is this is like my point of view when we are looking at the when we are looking at this Mm, we are looking at this uh, chart and when we are looking for some opportunities okay okay guys uh, listen i don't want to don't want to bother you so maybe you will have some questions uh if not uh, then we will like going to the end of today's webinar and also i remind you that uh, in today today's webinar was uh, was recorded so you can always ask the cci traders uh, representative um, how you can get today's 
webinar how you can get today's uh, record. When the cloud is below, it is a sign for buy. Well, the cloud is uh, when the cloud is below, it is a sign. Yeah. Well, if uh, looking at the price and looking at the cloud, yes. When the cloud is uh, when the cloud uh, is below, it is a sign for buy. When exactly? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Then, just like you are saying, just like you wrote, uh, it is. It is this. Uh, it is the same thing, right? So we are looking. The cloud is below. It's sent by. And when the cloud, uh, the, the when the cloud is above, it is a sign uh, for sell. When the cloud is below, it is a sign for buy. Well, sometimes, sometimes we look that uh, this cloud uh, often changes. For well, we get like consolidations. We get like the side side trend. Then we looking and saw that uh, the price go above, below, above, below. So th of course there is this time, and we can uh, saw the same times, but nevertheless. Uh, the time when we are looking for the trend, we are searching for the really good trend, then we can uh, use the Ichimoku uh, indicator and find some very, very interesting opportunities. Uh, okay, guys. Okay, guys. So here I am back again. Uh, okay, so this is will be mm, this will be that's it uh, for today. I hope that you are enjoy this webinar. So please stay uh, uh, stay tuned. Uh, remember uh, to take um, uh, to take uh, to be a participants uh, in the CCI traders uh, webinars and uh, also. And of course, let's check check this uh, uh, check this indicator, please, and uh, then uh, look uh, how do you think this indicator uh, looks like on the chart? Do you see some potential in it, or maybe not? Uh, I saw this potential. I really think that uh, it's a very very simple uh, indicator. We can just one uh, one look at the chart, and we are saying, is it going down? Is going up? It's a very very simple and very very uh, uh it's a very it's a very good indicator uh, the success rate of this indicator well uh, the success uh, interest of this indicator well it's not the indicator that will always give you um, always give you 100 uh, percent of uh, success rate because there is none of this indicator this indicator is a very good indicator looking at the trend um, uh, trend following strategies so looking at if we are looking for example at the stock exchange on the indices and we are looking at the price is going up there is a strong bullish cloud we can use it it's a very very good uh it's a very good indicator so if we are said, talking about the success rate it's like 60 percent percent 50 percent well uh I can tell you that, uh, in my personal opinion, by using this uh, uh, using this indicator on um, you can this indicator on um, daily charts. Well, my, uh, my percentage that I gain in uh, in one year was about thirty percent. So, so it was for me. For me personally, using day one uh, uh, daily charts, uh, this uh, this uh, indicator was a very very good uh, very good uh, success rate. So I'm, I'm not sure that for you it's a very good uh, uh, very good rate or not. Uh, for me, this kind of percent was very very high. Uh, is US dollar JPY best for this indicator? Well, it's uh, in my personal opinion, it's a very good indicator in the mm, very uh, very strong trends. Uh, for example, US dollar JPY. Uh, it's also it's very good uh, very good to use this indicator, but also it's good to use this indicator on a different uh, price. Like for example, Euro yen. For example, like Euro dollar. Uh, well, of course, sometimes you will see some maybe misunderstanding because when uh, I just told you, if we uh, we get a side trend, then maybe Chimoku it will not give us the most uh, uh, most uh, uh, good uh, uh, trade signals. Nevertheless, uh, and we are 
we, if we are patient and we are looking for this trend, uh, looking for this uh, uh, the setup that will give us uh, information, yes, this is now, this is a very strong signal to buy. We can we can earn uh, a lot of money. So this is this is of course uh, my opinion, my experience. Uh, check this strategy. Uh, check how it works. Of course, uh, let's start using a demo uh, demo account and and try, try this one. And then when you see this potential, of course you can go on the real account. Okay, okay. Thank you guys. This this will be uh, this will be all. So it was a very pleasure to. Uh, to talk with you, it's a very pleasure to um, to be a host on this uh, on this uh, webinar. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, the best minimum amount you uh, I can recommend, best minimum I get, uh, you are talking about uh, you are talking about uh, bonus, right? Uh, I mean bonus like. For, money like deposit right well actually you can start from i don't know you can start also with uh, one thousand dollars and you can also start uh, using one hundred dollars so like start with this money with real real found uh start uh, with money that you can um money that you can lose i know that it may sound a little bit uh, uh, not, not uh, very motivation not a very uh, motivated uh, word that i uh, that i said because the amount that you can you can afford you are you are afford to lose it uh well actually i know from my experience uh, when i was starting with a very high uh very high uh, real funds high um, uh, money so i was uh, more like stressful i made my, a lot of mistakes but when i start with uh, like less money for example okay this is my money that if i will lose this money it i will not be a broke person right like i can i am uh, i can afford it i am ready to use this money to co uh, entry the real uh the real accounts real funds and there is uh, in this um, kind of uh and in this kind of you know uh, state of mind you are focused on how to make a good trade you're not thinking about my money i will lose it or i will earn it you just focus on uh, looking for uh, setup uh, signals uh, long trade signals sell signals uh, etc etc so i in my recommend just use the money you afford to, to lose it and uh, of course uh, be be a patient uh, be a patient trader and uh, give yourself a time to uh, to learn how to trade so uh, especially in cci traders you can use five dollar uh five dollar bonus uh, for, of course uh, if you're wondering how you can uh, how you can get this bonus please contact uh, your representative uh, on CCA Traders. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers.